Hello everyone, so in this lesson we're going to look at the five different types of acid-base reactions. Now you need to know these because these five don't fall into the normal types of reactions that we looked at in the previous lessons. You won't be able to see where the hydrogen went. So these you've got to memorize, but I promise you they're actually very easy. So the first one is whenever you have an acid and you react it with any kind of metal, then you will always form a salt and hydrogen gas. So an example of this would be the following. So here we have hydrochloric acid plus zinc, which is a metal. Now zinc is a transition metal, so it can have a different valency number. So sometimes it can be plus one and sometimes it can be plus two. And so I've put the Roman numeral of two to show you which one it is. Now the product has to be hydrogen gas. So I'm gonna put that first and then a salt. Now a salt is a metal and a non-metal. So your metal is obviously the zinc and then you've got your chloride. But now you always need to be careful. Zinc has a valency of plus two, whereas if you look on your periodic table, we know that Cl is over here, and so it has a valency of minus one. And so zinc is plus two and chloride is minus one, and so to balance that out, we would need two chlorides, like that. We could then balance everything out. So here on this side, we have two chlorine molecules or two chlorine atoms. Here we have one. So we're going to put a two in the front there and then everything is balanced. The next type is the following. The next one is hydrochloric acid or no, sorry, an acid plus a metal oxide. And so if you have an acid plus a metal oxide, then the product should always be salt and water. Now a metal oxide, it's literally as the name suggests, it's a metal so there I've got zinc, and then oxide is oxygen. And so the product should be salt and water, so I'm gonna fill in the water first. And then you just see what the salt is. Well, there's a Zn left over and there's a Cl left over. And so that's the salt. Always the metal first, then the non-metal. Now we saw that chlorine has a valency of minus one, zinc is positive two, and so that means we need two chlorines over there. And then we just balance it. So here we can put a two in the front over there, and then everything is balanced. The third one is when you have an acid plus a metal hydroxide. That also gives you a salt and water. So an acid, such as HCl. Now a metal is anything from the left of the periodic table, such as potassium. And then hydroxide is OH. Remember, it's a, it's a polyatomic iron. So it's got hydrogen and then oxygen. So it's called hydroxide. Now the product should be a salt and water. So I always put the water first. And then what's left over? Well, we've got a K and we've got a Cl, so that's your salt. Remember, a salt is a metal and a non-metal. Now, potassium, if you look on the periodic table, has a valency of plus one, and chloride has a valency of minus one, and so they are balanced already. Now, we should just make sure that the reaction is balanced, and if you have a look, you'll see that there is the same amount of everything on each side, and so that is balanced. And so here's the fourth one. This is quite a long one. So it's an acid, such as HCl, plus a metal, which is like magnesium, carbonate, which is CO3. Now on your periodic table, you'll see that magnesium is plus two. You need to know your polyatomic ions. That is minus two. And so they balance each other nicely. And that is why I don't need to put a two over here, for example. Now the product should be a salt, water, and CO2. So CO2 is easy, because it's just CO2, literally. And then water is just H2O. And then for the salt, you just see what's left over. Well, we haven't used magnesium and we haven't used Cl. And so we say MgCl. But now on the periodic table, Mg is plus two and Cl is minus one. And so we need two Cls. And now we can balance it. So the first thing I see is that there are two Cls on this side and only one here. So we put a two in the front there and then everything is balanced. The last one is quite an interesting one. It's acid plus ammonia gives you an ammonium salt. So for example, if you take an acid such as HCl and you react it with ammonia, then you get ammonium, which is NH4 and it's a salt. So then you just have the Cl with it like that. We don't have any water or anything else forming. You literally just have one product. Now you should know from your polyatomic ions that NH4 is plus one and CO is minus one. So they are balanced. And so that's the end of this lesson. The main thing you need to realize is that there are five types of reactions where you can't actually see the hydrogen moving. And so these need to be learned off by heart. 
Because in a test, they might just tell you that HCl reacts with ammonia, and they're not going to tell you what the products are, but I can assure you that it will always be one of these five reactions that you can see over here. So if you can just memorize that, you'll see that they are all very similar. For example, they all form a salt, most of them form water, and then the one that has carbon, well obviously that's going to form a carbon product with carbon dioxide. And then the one with metal just forms a hydrogen gas. And so that's it. Thank you very much for watching.